19-year-old Richard Hazel got out of his new Toyota Cressida at Fairmont and Shipley and was shot, police say, five times in the jaw, the ankle, the arm, and the buttocks. For almost a half hour, paramedics worked on him in the ambulance. Then they rushed him to University Hospital. He's now in stable condition. Police say the details are sketchy. No suspects yet, and they're not sure what the motive was. They did find what could be the gun used in the shooting. It was allegedly dropped in this sanitation cart just a few feet from Hazel's car. Witnesses saw people running down the alley just moments after they heard shots. There. I was standing on the corner and I heard some gunshots. I heard two at first. And then I, I didn't worry. It didn't worry me at first. Then I heard three more. I saw run up the street. I see everybody run out here. People saw run down the alley. I came up here. I seen all this blood. We are just blocks away from where Ricky Krim was fatally shot and where Craig Cromwell was fatally shot. But the difference is that this happened during daylight hours, and that really has neighbors worried. Okay. What can we do? We can't do nothing. We can't do anything. They would, uh, you know, we can't do anything. Oh, not like that. That's the feeling now. Nothing can be done. Even though West Baltimore residents get together and say they can stop the crimes, these residents feel like it's going to take more than talk. They want police walking the streets, and they're going to try and keep their children from not straying too far from sight. Watch your children and be careful. You can't even hardly sit on the step around here. Well, let's sit on the back. Just a chance you're taking, I guess. In West Baltimore, Michael Shockett, News Scene 2 Nightside. I know my son didn't do it. He looked in my eyes and told me he didn't do it, and I believe But Sylvia Garrison knows there are others who don't, and that's why her 16-year-old son is behind bars. Robert Garrison will stay there. The Douglas High School student was denied bail this morning. He faces first-degree murder charges in the shooting death of Craig Cromwell, a varsity basketball player at Calvert Hall who was gunned down on West Franklin Street earlier this month. Police first arrested Tyrone Clark and released him last night. His mother had also claimed police had the wrong man. Craig Cromwell's mother didn't believe that at first. Now... I don't want to see a mother's heart, you know, heavy... <laughs> sadness and, and so forth you know I want the right person caught and taken off the street because they're gonna do it again all kids do bad things sometimes <gasps> my son couldn't do that he couldn't do it but new evidence led to Robert Garrison's arrest he was picked up after a city grand jury heard testimony from area teenagers and others who may have seen the Cromwell shooting despite the evidence Sylvia Garrison says her son is innocent and like Tyrone Clark's mother she hopes to prove it. Vicki Cox, New Scene 2.